hi welcome to linda's tv show if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my youtube channel you are highly welcome please subscribe turn on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first person to check it out like you know i present to you information across the globe especially nigeria to be precise as we hop into today's video please after watching leave your comment constructively and tell me what you think about the video and my channel now let's watch this video together when i was to get up my family i have a see flash touch flash in my window i have a voice outside asking me ordered me to come out with my family i did so with my family when i came out i find out they are two people in my sitting room ordered me to give them the key of my door I give them, one of them opened the door and another two came in making for inside my house with AK-47 Then asked my name. When I see them, I move back because of fear. When I move back, my wife move forward and I pray a short prayer. I say, Lord, I am nothing, I cannot save myself. I am a sinner, forgive my sin. Jehovah, today your servant will visit you as if my soul. When I finish this prayer, I move further because my wife, she's trying to beg them. One of them told my wife that they are there to do the work of Allah. No one will stop them. When I heard that, I know that my time is today. I move forward because I know they are there for me. I say, I am here. They ordered me to sit in their front. I did so. And the leader asked me, what is your name, sir? I told him, Habila Adamu. Are you an Algerian army? I say, no. Are you an Algerian police? I say, no. I am a businessman. Now he told me, are you a Christian or Muslim? I say, I am a Christian. He say, why we are preaching Islamic way of gospel to you. You refuse to accept Islam as a religion. And I told them that I am a Christian. We are also preaching the good news to them and other people that never knows God. One of them now asked me, Habila, do you want to tell us that a Christ you Christians know God? I say, yes. We know God, the true God. That is why we are, we are preaching to you. One of them now ordered me to deny my faith in order to survive. And I told them that I am not denying my faith. I am ready to die as a Christian. Now, say, they have called my wife to be a witness with what will happen to me. One of them told my wife that your husband is stubborn. Plead with your husband so that he would deny his faith to be survived. And I told them that I cannot change my mind. I am a Christian. I rather die as a Christian. Their leader gave me the last opportunity. Havila, you have opportunity to live. This is the last opportunity we give you. If you are ready to deny your faith, you will be saved. I say, no, I am a Christian. I would rather die as a Christian. Before I close my mouth, one of them fired me with AK-47. He passed through my nose here. This is the exit place of the bullet, AK-47. I fell down with my face, blood everywhere. The gunman followed me in my sitting room. He marched me to see whether I'm still alive or I dead. He found out I am dead. Went out and left me there. 
But, but bueno. Habila, you, you survived that. How is it that you were able to survive? I mean, that, that's a miracle, is it not? Tell me about that. Yeah, it's God. I don't know how I survive it. When I'm there, I'm waiting f to see an angel holding my hand and show me, Habila, this is your place. But unfortunately, I had my wife crying, saying many things. Say, Lord, why have you taken my husband at this moment? Lord, why did you not leave my husband in, us, in order to raise our children together? She said, Lord, I know where my husband is. He is inside of my Lord. Though when I had her, I raised my head so that she would not sin against God. I tell her that I am alive. Now she told me that even though you are alive, the way blood is rushing, you will not survive it. And I told her that I have a message for everyone that will heard my voice. Even though when I pass away, I have a message for everyone that will have heard me. I never know that I am the one that, that will send the, the message to the world. I told her to live in this world is to live for Christ. And to die is again. That is my message to her. And Habila, you, you had many, uh, many surgeries, or how did, how did you uh, survive medically? Yeah. After all this, blood is rushing since 11 p.m. up to 7 in the morning. When I am rushed to hospital, in all medication, then found out my blood pressure is normal. My blood level is normal. Though now the doctor started asking me questions. How come did I survive? How, what power behind my survival? I told them that the power behind my survival is Jesus Christ. And the spirit behind it is the Holy Spirit. That is how I survive. I am alive because God wants to show that the power of death and resurrection is in the hands of God. How are you doing now, Habila? We're, we're almost a year later. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Now I'm, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm better. I'm strong. Because Jesus strengthened me. And was this was strong. this Boko Haram? Was this Boko Haram that did this, and why? Yeah, they are there to do the work of Allah. They want to Islamize all Nigerians. That is why they did all this, and it is a surprise thing in the morning that I found out all my neighbors, all the Christians' neighbors have killed on that night. I am the only survival of on that night. I am the only survival. What, what but, in America can we do to help Nigeria? What should we be doing? Now, what I want America to do is to call our president in Nigeria to come to the end of these killings. From 2009 to this date, more than 9,000 Christians have been dead. Even last week, in the secondary schools, tertiary institution, more than 60 students have been dead. I expected Nigeria, a president of Nigeria, to put mourning for three days for this citizens of Nigeria, but because they are citizens of UAE, they don't care because they did not touch them. We are crying, let this be end, so that the name of the Lord will reign. Thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform 
As you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.